you know how much sodium you should be taking 1500 milligram the Mayo Clinic they say that people in the state they take actually 3400 milligram which is twice the amount so if you are having high blood pressure and I am pretty sure that you are having otherwise you'll not be watching this video um, if you're having um, high blood pressure avoid this food number one is sodium now when we say sodium what does it mean there are many foods that have sodium in it for example uh, frozen pizza for example um, meat canned soup and you know what also 75% of the sodium comes from packaged food so in addition to canned meat or canned soup and also frozen pizza what else you can avoid you can avoid vegetable drinks or juice you can avoid any kind of like uh, canned tomato juices the deli meat that you eat it has 500 milligram of sugar in it a frozen pizza has 700 milligram of sodium in it canned soup that you eat it has around 900 to 2000 milligram of sodium in it pickle has 900 milligram sodium in it canned or bottled tomatoes they have 400 milligram of sodium in it so if you can avoid this food like deli meat frozen pizza the thing that you normally buy like the processed food all the time from the shelf in the grocery store if you can avoid those food and if you can find out actually how much is the sodium portion in it whenever you buy anything any processed food it will help you to find out which food will contain more sodium and you have to avoid that number two is sugar now you might say well sugar is bad for your you know weight loss right if you want to gain weight sorry if you want to lose weight sugar is bad but do you know sugar is actually also related with high blood pressure and i'm gonna tell you how if you take sugar what happened you become overweight and when you become overweight what happened you actually increase the possibility of high blood pressure according to the american heart foundation you should take if you are a woman six teaspoon of sugar and if you are a man you should take nine teaspoon of sugar a day but i'm sure you take a lot more than that number three is trans fat or saturated fat that you find in chicken skin that you can find in red meat or you can find it in fat dairy products so this uh, trans fat or saturated fat they are really really bad for your blood pressure instead what you can do is you can eat nuts you can eat almonds you can you can eat olive oil you can eat avocados now that brings me to my next point avocado is really 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 good so if you want to counter blood pressure you have to eat or try your best to eat avocado on a regular basis because avocados they have potassium which is a counter you know strategy for your high blood pressure because anything that has sodium um, it affects your body it increases your blood pressure the potassium keeps that down Mayo Clinic, according to uh, Mayo Clinic, they mention about alcohol, okay? They say if you're sitting down and you're having like, um, let's say, uh, three drinks of alcohol in one sitting, then it will create a short-term blood pressure. If you are drinking more than three in one sitting, you will, it would probably create a long-term blood pressure in your body. So, avoid drinking any kind of alcohol because if you're eating if you're drinking alcohol all the time obviously you're risking to have a lot of blood pressure which you cannot control look the main point here is that you have to live a healthy life it is not about you cannot make you know decision what you eat on a regular basis i mean if you go to the you know grocery store how often you even think well what should i buy what should i not buy right so get into a habit of eating good food uh, having a healthy strategy that will help to reduce your blood pressure i hope this video will help you like this video subscribe to this channel i will see you next time